hello students hope you are good last time we discuss about our different types of elements which comes under html5 okay and now today we going to discuss about uh, input restrictions in html5 okay so let's start input restrictions you know about uh, html5 have capability have capability to uh, validate um, different type of things and which is helpful to the user okay to enter exact information valid information in particular form or in particular website right so such type of restriction we can uh, control okay to the particular we can set to the uh, form elements okay so a list of some common input restrictions is given below few of which can be used for validation purpose this is a very important validation purpose okay so now first attribute name okay first attribute name is disabled you know about disabled enable disable concepts okay so it specifies that an input field should be disabled let's uh, discuss about concept okay let me go to the exact area okay i will show you how to work on disable okay pad okay here so this is just structure inside i I have create one uh, simple form which include different uh, three to four different number of elements uh, first uh, field name is uh, name okay this is a name input type is equal to text you know about single entry if you want to enter uh, any single line entry okay if you want to enter name okay then we can prefer such type of element input type equal to text name equal to name we can uh, give any type of name to the uh, like uh, name or you can say t1 okay t1 then this is the disable this have which have no any value okay disable attribute now br tag is there two time two type of br to uh, break a line okay the next password input type equal to password name equal to pass right ct there is a the, again text box name equal to ct input type equal to submit and value equal to submit to uh, submit the information and here is a closing tag of form closing body and closing html this is a simple program let me execute just minimize it if i minimize and show on google chrome the display like this see we can we cannot enter which is because which is a disabled okay such type of behavior we can handled in input restrictions okay but we can enter into a next field as well as another field okay okay right right in this way so this is about uh, disable now next part next uh, attribute name is max it specify the maximum value for an input field okay maximum value we can enter um, maximum number we can enter maximum date okay similar to that minimum may uh, specify the minimum value for an input field uh, similar to the max okay it require number or date range for this i will show you one example here we go first of all i will show you exact how to work on code this is a form element okay first number 
when you want to collect when you want to um, store number then just write field name like number and put type equal to number okay minimum is equal to 5 max equal to 15 <coughs> you can set any minimum value like um, um, like 1 okay and here 10 oh sorry oops 10 and you can uh, write here mobile number okay mobile number you know about there are 10 digits okay so you uh, have to set this particular range with the help of min and max okay if i save this and execute on browser then see what happened open with google chrome because my google chrome is support html5 latest uh, features okay so mm, mobile number sorry uh, this is a just entering number minimum value is, uh, is 1 and maximum value is 10 okay similar to that See if I uh, enter and when I submit value must be less than it will indicate to user value must be less than or equal to 10 value must be uh, less than or equal to 10 okay because this is a greater value if I erase this if I set uh, like uh, minus 3 and if I submit it then again it will show um, validate type of message value value must again if I click on submit see value must be greater than or equal to 1 right such type of validation uh, inbuilt in HTML5 no need to create separate uh, code for this okay This is mo mobile number is not proper text number is correct okay now range input type equal to range mean equal to 0 max equal to 5 okay you can set any interval any type of value for range you know about there is a range also uh, range uh, element okay again if I execute see this is a 0 range and this is a maximum five, okay if I uh, click on this, okay, one, two, three, four, and five, okay. If I increase maximum value, for example, uh, ten, and execute on browser, then see what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8 9 and 10 right so in this way uh, you can uh, set such type of uh, input restrictions so this is about min and max another uh, we can also set date also okay input type equal to date min value this max value is this a bit will require to set proper in proper format like uh, year then month and then date okay this is a month okay two digit month is required two digit date is also required so minimum <coughs> if i entered like uh, 2019 okay 2019 january for january 2019 and if i maximum value here 2020 first uh, may 2020 okay then what see what happened if I execute this uh, 6 okay it means June and 
if I execute on browser see what happen let me show you refresh it okay see. this is a May 2020 if I go previous previous year 2019 see what happened if I um, continuously press this previous icon previous arrow we cannot go back okay because uh, minimum is minimum value is first January 2019 right and maximum let me check maximum value get how much maximum value yes uh, first June 2020 is a max value so you can go up to first June okay see here we can go up to first June only yes this is the first June see so in this way you can uh, able to enter a uh, date also okay now next part is uh, pattern right pattern it specifies regular expression to check the input values okay yeah it specify uh, it specifies a regular expression to check the input values now here we have to know about um, regex or regular expression concept okay I have one example I will show you pattern means what okay let me close this see here pattern example is there I will show you exact how to write code for pattern see in form area there is a fun text box okay and which include one attribute <coughs> now here this is a specific um, value for pattern actually uh, this indicate you can enter uh, alphabets only okay a to z small letters okay so why we use this first of all we have to know about this and this symbol also okay so these special characters this symbol is um, beginning okay or starting point and this symbol is ending point okay now inside it there is a a to z means we can enter only a to z number of characters okay and this plus symbol is used to um, we can enter one or more values in that text field okay uh, see just I will show you how to execute how to display on browser oops this is a Mozilla Firefox let me check what happened if I entered a B C D okay then uh, will not any type of uh, in small letter then will not display any type of error to the user right but if I entered in capital letters then what happened see red ma red uh, line is red outline is there it indicates you have one mistake okay you make one mistake in that field if I entered in small letter a b c d e or anything else then it will not show any type of error to the user so such type of uh, pattern we can enter into that um, box in the field similarly if I entered uh, any other characters like numbers okay or alpha alphanumeric characters like ABCD 1 2 3 4 okay any type of then it will show definitely show to the uh, error to the user right so in this way you can uh, control uh, any type of, type of user okay to entering specific value pattern value okay <clears throat> so this attribute is very essential to control uh, form element okay this is also controlled by JavaScript as well very efficiently okay which how JavaScript is very popular to uh, create such type of extraordinary contents okay you know about JavaScript is a very popular okay
now uh, next part is read only next concept next concept name is read only concept it specifies that input field is read only it cannot be changed okay so let me execute first of all we have to know about uh, read only how to use read only attribute in specific element now see name input type equal to text name equal to name required equal to required or you can enter any other uh, value like uh, required element required field required value okay required value dot 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 save if i execute okay intentionally i left uh, one for first element and if i go to the another click like okay okay and if i click on submit then see please fill out this field so such type of restriction we can uh, apply uh, with the help of required attribute okay simply required 